Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I'm going to try another one of these floating, um, it's virtually called a pouring frame. So it's got a lip on it, it's um, kind of a white colour, with a bit of grip, um, and it's just to pour paints into. The only thing I found is the last one I did, the paints, because you can't pour the paints off, it's a little bit more challenging to try to work out what to do. So I'm going to try doing metallics because metallics like to be runnier and they love to flow off the edge and ruin whatever painting you've got. So I'm going to try it in this. I don't exactly know how it's going to work, but that's the fun of trying new things. And if, <clears throat> pardon me, I brought three of these. I've done one um, using Holcroft high flow paints. They're tricky to work with. Metallics are tricky to work with. So I'm going to try the metallics in this one. And then I'm going to do um, another one which is just normal paints. But I thought, I've got three tries to see if I like them. If I don't like them, I won't buy any more. But um, this one's turned out okay. It is drying a little bit different to how it was on um, camera. I think it's just because... The paint was a little bit thick, so it's kind of just sinking in certain areas, but the, the pattern is actually altering a little bit and kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So I'm going to see how this goes. It's one of those things that you, you've got to practice on and have a bit of fun. So I'm actually going to do, I think I'm going to do flip cups. I'll see if that's going to be easy to do. If I can't do it easier, then I'll just do some pours. I'm going to do little cups so it's just a matter so I've just stirred these a minute ago so it's just going to be a matter of pouring these in and I'm going to do them in different orders Oops. So I kind of just want different effects. Because metallics really do behave differently. So I'm not sure how they're going to behave in a painting like this. Which is kind of the fun of it, really. Come on, you're going to drip off. Right, we'll do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think what colour to go next. I'm going to put that one and that one and the bronze one in this one. So I have mixed these one to one with paint and um, Elmer's clear glue pouring medium, which is 70% clear glue, 30% water. Sorry, I didn't show you these. And these are all Mont... I mean, sorry. Eraldo Di Polo Metallic. So I've got Metallic Cyan, Metallic Rich Gold, um, Metallic Lavender, Metallic Ocean Blue, Metallic Fuchsia, and Metallic Copper. So. This could be fun. This could be something I go, what was I thinking? Who knows? So I'm going to need three cups, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these as my last flip cup. I might put a little bit more of this in there. And then I'm going to use this as my third cup. Put that there. So, um... I've already got teal and that together. I might try this one. So again, I'm really not too sure if I've got enough paint, not enough paint. This is going to be a test um, to see how much paint actually covers it. So the last one, I think I had too much paint. 
So this one's there should be less paint in this compared to um, this painting over here. Let's go pink. But it is exciting trying new things. I saw these at the... Um, one of our common like department stores here in Australia. And I thought, that sounds interesting. Let's see how that works. And who knows? I'm hoping it works well because I know the metallics do spread a lot but they can't spread to the point where they drip off the canvas because it's got a edging on it so it may be quite interesting how it looks I'm gonna have to put a little bit more on that one And these colours also behave slightly different. Some try to sink more. Some like to stay at the top. So I virtually just mix them all one to one from the bottle to the pouring medium. I didn't really want to mess around too much with ratios. And this is an absolute gorgeous colour, this copper. Okay, so. Now, I'm trying to think if I'd want to do a, um, got an eyelash. So I'm trying to think if I really want to do a pour or flip cup. Um, I think I might do flip cup only because if I pour it's going to go on a little bit uneven so I'm going to have to take these off and this is going to be the challenging part Wish me luck with this. Oh, that worked. If I can get my fingers out. Okay. So the cuts are pretty full, so there's no point leaving them too long this way because not much is really going to sink. So it's just going to be a matter of... It's looking quite cool.
It's hard to know if I should have done like the flip and drag or how to go about that. So now I'm just moving it around the canvas, or I'm going to call it a canvas. I'll, well, I should call it a board, but I, I know my brain will forget, and I'll keep calling it canvas. So all I really want to do is just try to cover the surface without getting it to go up the sides too much. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, that's that corner. So you don't have a lot of room to manoeuvre because you don't want it to go over the edge and mess up the, the wood. I'm going to keep that clean. Again, these are mostly just tests to see how the paint works, to see whether it actually likes being in a board like this or not really. By the way it's manoeuvring, I could have even used a little bit less paint and I might have had a little bit more wiggle room to manoeuvre the canvas to get different patterns. Um, I'm not brave enough to get a skewer and do swirls or anything in it, which is something I would possibly do if, if I like the way these turn out and I get more in the future. Uh, and that's probably something I would do, is to kind of... Um, get skewers and do different effects but um, I'm actually liking how this is looking oh, I can't use this it ran out of gas didn't it um, I kind of need that to pop my bubbles I have a little mini blow torch here I just have to figure out which box I put it in so Bear with, bear with me for a second. Um, see it in that box either. So one problem when you tidy up sometimes you put things in a spot and then you forget which spot you put them in. <laughs> oh, nearly knocked over paint. Okay. I can't actually see where I put my little mini. I've got like a little lighter blow torch that I use to pop bubbles. I think I may have to pause you so then I can find it. Okay, I found it. See, it's just one of these little, um, like little things you can use for gas barbecues or something. It's got a little flamethrower tip on it. Just gonna use it to pop some bubbles.
So just keep it moving the whole time. It is popping bubbles, but I still have more. It's a lot more gentler than using the blowtorch, so I think it's um, it's getting there, but it just doesn't do as good a job. Okay, that will be enough. Now, when you use something like this. Don't get this and then just put it down because that tip is going to be hot and that's going to, it, if I hit this plastic it's going to stick to it. If you put it on something it might catch on fire. You must be careful. Um, the little flamethrower bottle that I use, this one here, that ran out of gas. I always have it standing upright and away from any furniture, any plastic. It's kind of, I leave it out in the open by itself. If anything, I put it where it's going to trip me over because that way I'm going to see it um, and I know it's not near anything. So always be careful when using anything like this. Um, that's why some people have those um, heat wands, like an embossing tool, which usually they come with a stand. So the nose is always um, up high because you don't want it touching anything where it's going to burn or catch on fire. And it will stay warm for a little while. So... I do have a spot where I can put this, where it's not going to touch anything, but please be careful. Um, doing art is for fun. You don't want any dangerous things happening. So, this is my metallic flip cup in a pouring frame, which looks interesting. Um, I think it'll be even more interesting once it dries. So the colours have kind of blended. I've got streaks and patterns. Um, this end's very coppery. This end's kind of blues and purples with some gold. I like it. But I can't tell you if I love it or not until it's dry and I actually see the shimmer in it. If this shimmers as good as I am hoping or expecting the, the metallics to shimmer, this is going to be gorgeous. So, and if I had this on a canvas, those paints will keep running over the edge and the pattern will change. It's probably not going to change much now. It's, the paint's got nowhere to go, and so there's nothing, no pulling forces on it to make the pattern change. But if you wanted to, you could get sticks, skewers, and do swirls in it. Um, I, I mess everything up when I put skewers and swirls in it. Um, so I don't, but I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. Okay, so what do we think of this? It's different. It's not like my normal artwork, um, because the floating frame, you, you, you kind of have to change everything you know about pouring because you can't really pour anything off, but that's good. It, something different, something to, uh, that light's going to become annoying, but... You can see that there's going to be shimmering all through here with all these metallics and I can't wait for that copper. I wonder if I put the camera this way, is that not really? But as you can see there's kind of nice patterns where I've popped bubbles, it's given me like little dots of cells. So it's it's a it's an air bubble cell, not a not a proper cell cell. But it still is a cell, it's just they're just miniature. And they don't really get rings in them, they just kind of bring up an old colour that was hidden underneath. But this will look absolutely awesome once it's dry with all that shimmering. So 
This is Eldorado Metallics in a pouring frame and, well, a dirty flip cup pouring frame with Eldorado Metallics. So I hope you enjoyed this. That was quite fun. Um, I don't think it would do any different if I used a larger air blower. It might have just popped a few more of these small bubbles, but um, that doesn't matter. They'll, they'll find their own way to the surface. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe, share, like, and tell me what you think. And try it for yourself if you find these floating frames. So have a great afternoon or evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.